Well, welcome back to the Kelly File and New Fallout tonight from a town hall meeting featuring 2016 Democratic candidate Governor Martin O'Malley. Yes, more than Hillary are running on the Democratic side. Uh, he was addressing what he thought was a friendly audience of liberal activists. But man, did they turn on the former governor of Maryland when he had the nerve to say this. Listen. Every life matters. And that is why this issue is so important. Black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. Later that same day came Governor O'Malley's, O'Malley's apology. I believe what I first said was that black lives matter before those other two phrases. That was a mistake on my part, and I meant no disrespect, and I did not mean uh, uh, to be insensitive. Kevin Jackson is the executive director of the Black Sphere. Uh, dot net and author of the book Race Pimping. And Mark Hanna was a campaign aide for President Obama and John Kerry's presidential campaigns and is now an adjunct professor of media studies at the New School. Hi, Megan. <sighs> really? <laughs> really? I, I get the context in which the original remark was offered, but it's to the point now, Kevin, where he has to apologize for saying all lives matter. Yeah, it is. It's to that point now. It's crazy. And what's interesting, Megan, if you notice, when he said white lives matter, oh, that's when he got the most vitriol from the audience because you white people are evil. They booed. Yeah, the same party <laughs> that, that uh, booed God or didn't want God at their convention <laughs> booed white people too. So, hey, maybe white people are God. Look, this is the most idiotic thing I think I've seen in a long time. The fact of the matter is that the meme and the narratives are set around Black Lives Matter should be called Black Lives Matter because they don't want to talk about the real issues around why, why black lives haven't mattered. It isn't because of cops. It isn't because of America. It's because of the behavior of liberal blacks and the system that is that has made made black people unfortunately put in situations where they are we, we, uh, disproportionately criminals and so this idea that you can't come over the top of that and say don't all lives matter what 87 percent of this country's lives don't matter because black lives do and it's, I mean mark the thing is way to get the other half to listen to you right I mean what how are white people going to respond to the booing <laughs> of the fact that their lives should matter yeah, I don't think anybody disagrees with the statement that all lives matter. I don't think any yeah, of I those think you're wrong pro about that. protesters disagree with that. <laughs> but let's listen do. to this in, in context. Uh, what, what was happening there was a protest that erupted about the Black Lives Matter. Obviously, there's been a lot of uh, frustration in the black community right. over news of a new a, a new woman that was uh, died in police custody again in Texas, and so no proof that that was by an intentional exactly. action by a police officer we, whatsoever. We, no, well, we, we should reserve judgment and wait to see right. how this like unfolds. Like we should have been the Michael Brown case <laughs> in Ferguson, which helped give birth to the Black Lives <laughs> Matter Megan, movement. The fact of the matter and is, it was based on a lie. The fact of the matter is more black than four hundred about about four hundred people have died in, in at the hands unarmed people at the at the hands of police, and most of disproportionate number and I'm sure Kevin is outraged by this a disproportionate number of those is is black okay, now, but listen but, to why this is insensitive but, 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 the but way way more no. white people have been killed at the hands of police officers that's, over the past two, two years than black exactly, well, if you look, Kevin, at, if you look exactly, at proportions that's no, not that's exactly true. right that's a proportion more black members of, of the community okay. have but but go the, ahead. The that, that's Kevin's that's, go that's ahead, Kevin. absolutely look look that's it's absolute fallacy and it's what these guys do. They come on all the time. They spew out this nonsense data because they know that the least common denominator is not going to check it. It's nonsense. White people are killed in disproportionately uh, more high numbers in, per in percentage to crime than blacks. And you don't see white people uh, running around talking about white lives matter. And, and to your original point, the very first thing out of your mouth was, oh, I don't believe people believe that. They booed when they said all white lives matter. Right. And the reason they booed is, it. the reason what, that what was so ignore deaf. that I'll Go tell ahead, you Mark. the reason the reason that was so tone deaf Megan you reported last week on on this m major tragedy Kate Steinle this woman died in San Francisco if I was on your show and you said something like the murderer of Kate Steinle should be brought to justice and then I responded well every murderer should be brought to justice nobody disagrees with that but it would be miserably insensitive for me to say that in that context it's deflecting no, it Kevin used Kevin used that, this word big there's word no, there's no Kevin, deflection let me just here finish real quick you use this big word fallacy the fallacy that that is called for my fellow nerds out there 
is a fallacy of illicit transference. It's a non sequitur. Oh, and and frankly, a lot of it's fancy words. Yeah, you know. And it's wow, why it's okay. why people why, why why Martin O'Malley why why he apologized. Now, Martin O'Malley. I mean, no, you no, tell no, me, Kevin. Did, that's did, not why was he that was that a an absence of backbone moment? Was that an opportunity for Martin O'Malley to look at the crowd and say that kind of attitude is not going to help the cause? He could absolutely. Have Absolutely. He, he missed his moment. He missed his presidential moment right there to say, you know what, folks, all lives matter. I don't care what you think. I'm not trying to be president so I can be president of black people. I'm president of everybody. And that was his time. And he could have gone on to say, if black lives matter so much, why don't they matter to you with abortion? Why don't they matter <laughs> to you when black people are killing each other in record numbers and disproportionate numbers in your own communities? Or why does it matter when the people that call themselves African Americans don't care about the genocide that's happening in the motherland? That, that, that wouldn't, have been, like, that wouldn't exactly have, have been a barn burner you can, in, you can, in the speech. Go ahead, Mark. You can accuse Martin O'Malley of a lot of things, but everybody who's watching who, uh, this show, who's seen The Wire, the, the mayor character on The Wire on HBO was based on his character. He has, he has uh, looked out for an untold number of black lives as a mayor of Baltimore. He has how been a champion for African Americans. How many times have we heard? How many times have we heard so, among the GOP field? Yes. Oh, that may play with the GOP base, but they're going to get killed in a general election with that kind of rhetoric. <laughs> Guess what, Governor no, O'Malley? But, Megan, Guess what? Megan, Megan, it's even better. It's even better. O'Malley presided over the the uh, state of Maryland and, and as mayor of Baltimore, and I don't know a year that they haven't been in the top ten for murders. Mm. And again, those murders are the killing other for, for a short time when he was mayor, and leadership. I will say. I saw him out there picking up.